Hello everyone and thank you for joining me in Hearts of Iron 4. Guys, in this mini-series, we're gonna play as Turkey and try to keep Mustafa Kemal Ataturk alive for as long as possible. And on top of that, we will go ahead and uh, revive Turkish revolutionism, which in turn will lead us to getting uh, to getting Kemalist socialists. So we'll enact the Kemalist socialist theory. That means, guys, so guys, stay tuned for the episode. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Also, do not forget to turn on the bell. All right, would be really appreciated. And, well, let's get going with uh, getting the Montreux Convention, the first thing. Well, guys, to become communist, we gotta continue the policy of etatism first, which we are doing right now. And then, we just go on this path and down this path. Well, so I only got two advisors, since they are useful and they are cheap, other than that, I won't get anything else. We gotta save up our political power and guys, you will see why. Well, we done editism, we're gonna ratify the six arrows next, which will unlock law number 3115, which will give us many various options here. Next thing is to revive Turkish revolutionism, which will unlock a nice decision, which we'll use all the time when we can. Now, next thing, this is if we want to go fascist, we don't. So, we'll go ahead and rehabilitate the Kadro movement. And revolutionism gives us for 60 days weekly stability and daily fascism and communism support. We don't want the fascism support, but we cannot get only communism, so we gotta do that. With the Kadro movement rehabilitated, Kemalist socialist theory, which will also boost the communists, but we cannot apply that person yet. It's also important to save up PP, you gotta save up PP, that's very, very important. Well, if the Kerala social theory done, and we gotta do patriotism over internationalism, and, well, Latvia decided to become communist a little bit earlier, as it seems. Well, alright. Well, we have enough political power, so we can initiate the counter-fundamentalist operation, at least. But I'd suggest at least to have 200, at least to have 200 political power active, uh, in, in reserve. Now, creating the Turkish... Workers' militia, which will give us a nice boost in communism and manpower as well. Yeah, Mustafa Kemal Ataturk takes ill. Now it's very important that we seek treatment for Ataturk as soon as possible. We're gonna seek treatment ASAP. ASAP. Otherwise, uh, things are not going to be well. So well, we are in a race against time indeed. We can intervene in the Spanish Civil War, which we'll do actually for some nice fun. But the Spanish are uh, losing pretty badly, so it will be like the West of Divisions. But, well... Let's try the album, right? The Chinese United Front just forms, and we can send Spain eight divisions. Eight divisions, we're gonna send it to them and hope that they can uh, hold the line or do a small difference, at least. A common destiny for all of Turkey, that's pretty useful, so we can integrate the Kurdish states quicker. What we'll try is to try to drive a wedge in the middle of the nationalists. So we're gonna send our eight divisions there and try to push straight through them. Okay guys, so we can seek treatment for Ataturk once more. It takes 60 days, but we'll do that. So that's why we need to save our political power. We wanna keep try to keep him alive for as much, as long as possible. I don't know why the Spanish commons, they have no leader. They just have no leader. It must be a bug. Anyway, well, I wish I could see their stockpile, guys. I wish I could see their stockpile. I'm just gonna send them 50% of my <laughs> weapons production per month. But what is their stockpile? Like, can't we see their stockpile? Not enough intel, really. They, we, we should, but, you know, okay, fine. I'll invest heavily. I'll send them 50% of everything I produce. 50% of support equipment, 50% of weapons, even 50% of trucks, okay? Okay, there we go. There you go. So we are in a race against time because now it costs 275 PP. So uh, 275 that's quite a bit. And uh, well, that is problematic. If I do these both focuses, we get, we should have it, but I have no idea how we can keep him alive for longer. Really, we, we aren't able to enact anything effectively, if that's the case. Yeah. So now we can go ahead and seek treatment for Ataturk. We did it in time, but the question is, will we be able to do it in time when the next decision comes? That's the big question. 
Now we can do the Hulk with Deadlet, which means people and state heal as the priority of our Canalis Socialist government. So now the JPL is the ruling party and the communists will become the leading power. Elections won't be held. Who will the leader? The leader will be Shevket Shureya Aydemir, apparently. Not Atatürk. I thought Atatürk will lead us. It costs 350 now to. Um, so, okay. Uh, to uh, keep him alive. Anyway, we I did a massive offensive here, which resulted in us encircling almost all of the fascist divisions in this area. All of them. This is a major, major victory for us. Yep, we see it here. Fascists are completely encircled. Choosing Atatürk's successor. Why cannot Atatürk be the leader? Okay. Ismet Önü or Shevket Shureya Aydemir. I'm just looking. I don't know. The division defense on core territory is good. This is also good, guys. I'll I'll, I'll go ahead and get Shevket uh, Shureya Aydemir. So. Uh, yeah, let's just get him, because his traits are better. We'll nationalize all private industry. Okay. So will he die now or not is the question. Another very, very juicy encirclement. If we check the current war, Spanish Civil War, nationalists uh, lost 256,000, uh, Spanish lost 247,000. Republicans are stronger, they have more troops in the field as well, I think. But well, now, with all of these ones gonna be encircled, that's gonna be the case for for sure. Well, guys, it's really fun to help the Spanish in the Civil War. Like, we encircled like, like four or five full divisions. And on top of that, we're gonna help them capitulate. Uh, we got really elite divisions in the field, and we're gonna help them capitulate them as well. We're gonna do the final push against uh, the anarchists and the people's republic of spain should win the war clearly well guys i think we can conclude it was thanks to our intervention we sent like 60,000 troops to this to spain and the people's republic of spain won it people's republic of spain well effectively won i'm just gonna go ahead launch one last brutal offensive but let's check we sent the spanish 8,000 weapons hundreds of more equipment and 219 trucks so our help contributed to the victory for sure that's for sure. And we are spectating the last offensive of our troops. We'll just... The Turkish divisions will be the ones capturing La Coruña, the Spanish capital. Uh, I don't know why why they are being led by a ghost guy. So they are being led by a ghost guy. Uh, and the nationalists with the capture, a Turkish capture of La Coruña, they surrendered the end of the Spanish Civil War. Stalinist victory, or a Stalinist victory, apparently. All right, cool. Well, I can modify the land lease and stop the land lease all together, though. Thanks to us, they won, right? Thanks to us. We are assessing our future, uh, adding the legacy of Atatürk into a multi-party liberal democracy. Uh, okay, well, I don't think uh, this state was Atatürk's wish, right? But I don't know. Okay, Yugoslavia is being attacked by the Italians. No one is helping them. All right. Shouldn't you? Okay, the Romanians are fighting them. Let's send our divisions to help them out in their normal struggle as well. Eight to Romania and... Okay, I can't send anyone to... Uh, anyone. Well, guys, I just joined the the common turn. We didn't have to do anything. We just joined them. Now, Turkey stands together with the USSR. With regards to the Yugoslavs, they lost most of the army in the north. So, I think we're gonna suffer the same fate there, unfortunately. I'll just try to hold the line. All right, let's what I'll try. Because World War II has broken out. Italy joined the Axis, Romania joined the Allies. So this is how it seems. We will go ahead and justify on Italy. Yes, we'll justify on Italy. Uh, and then we'll get the Soviets into the uh, war as well, I hope. And then we'll be actively fighting the... Well, guess what? The We'll help the Allies then. I, I don't know. We'll help the Allies... Uh, Strengthen up their grass. Well, our we've generated too much uh, world tension, so uh, nations don't want to try. With us, but what other options did we have? What other options did we have? It would have taken us too long otherwise. 
So guys, the justification of war against Italians, we'll declare war, call our allies, boom, we call in Mongolia in our war, I Italy, German Reich has joined our war with bypass peace in the world, and the Comintern is now fighting them as well, we are sure, I'll get Soviet, they said that's 4,000 per month, well, thank you very much, so a non-aggression pact with all of them, that's cool, that's cool, yes, sign, so no, no, the world will take a very different shape for sure. The allies are pushing back the axis very quickly in, well, guess where in the world? Oh, they want all 70 thousands of weapons, 11 divisions, the USSR, well, of course, thank you. The thing is, guys, we gotta keep our, um, we gotta keep us in a deficit, otherwise we won't receive any aid from them. So as long as we had a deficit, we keep... Receiving the eight. This is how the uh, AI works. And we captured the Dokenedis Island with 14 divisions. Uh, it takes quite some time, but but we did it. We got the Dokenedis Islands for sure. And well, guys, I'm gonna end the first episode here. So I hope you all enjoyed it. And in the second episode, we'll see what we can do. Uh, so, uh, so thank you for watching, guys. So this is the state of the world, and I hope to see you all next time.